when I was a kid, I used to have so many nightmares about, you know, the Wolfman and ghosts and all that stuff. And, and even though I would have nightmares, I always insisted that I, you know, that we watch the scary movie that was on. Watching all the old made for TV movies, you know, like Trilogy of Terror and Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. And I insist that my mom let me see those. And I would still have nightmares, but I don't know. I was just enjoyed being scared. And maybe it was like being injected with that emotion. I was nine years old and dragged her to see Alien. And I was like five when Jaws came out. And I think the first film experience I remember is Jaws. But to me, it wasn't scary. It was just so exciting. And this, you know, this great adventure and these guys going out on the boat. So it's just in me to sort of be drawn to that stuff. My background is in horror. A lot of the movies I edit and, and direct are in horror, so I have a real affinity for that stuff. I'd always loved film, and I made some like documentaries while I was an undergrad, and I just really enjoyed the process, and sitting there making these films and putting them up for an audience was so satisfying, was so great. I loved nothing better than staying up all night and putting these little documentaries together and showing them to people. So there's something in that that I just loved. And Scorsese's Goodfellas came out around that time. I saw that and was like, I have to try and do this. I'd always thought that people that did film, that were creative, knew it from an early age and they were just ordained to be in film. I never thought, okay, me, I have no connections, I have nothing. If I can get to USC film school, oh, maybe I'll give this a try. I'll move up to LA, that'll give me a foothold and I'll see if it works. And uh, I got into USC and went to film school and, and so it's been a great experience. One of the things about horror movies is getting to sort of live that scary experience but surviving it. And to me the best horror movies are the ones like Halloween where one of the reasons I think it's so good is you identify so much with Jamie Lee Curtis and the best horror movies, I think, ask you to think, what would I do in that situation? I'm in the closet, what am I gonna do? And rather than just sitting there screaming, Jamie Lee reaches up and grabs that hanger and stabs him in the mind. It's about being resourceful. I mean, I think it all ties back to like, you know, fairy tales like Little Red Riding Hood. Like, through her perseverance and all that, she's able to overcome these dark things. So I think horror movies embody a lot of that. Like, they're our version of modern fairy tales. Jamie Lee Curtis, through her, we're able to overcome this, and maybe there's that slight chance. You know, we're not gonna face a serial killer, maybe, but when we encounter darkness in our lives, we, we hope that we face it with the same courage she did. I don't think you can connect to people unless you have that real love for what you're doing and what you've created. You know, in the 70s, people talked about, oh, it was such a great decade for filmmaking, and then Spielberg and Lucas came along and ruined it all and commercialized it all. But I don't think that was the case. I think everyone was making the movies that they loved. It just so happened that Lucas and Spielberg their taste matched what the popular culture was. They genuinely loved what they were doing, and it happened to be the movies that the world wanted to see, and it just lined up that way. I don't think you can fake your way through that, ever. I've seen people try. I mean, I'm in the film industry, so you see people that work and they try, but if you don't have that love for it, it's just it just doesn't work. As a filmmaker, I love seeing what's been done before and seeing you know, that simple Michael Myers with the white mask, like it's so iconic and simple. So having it up on the shelf, seeing you know, Leatherface, all that stuff on the shelf, it's like a reminder of what these legends have done before me and the bar is set really high and I have to try and overcome that now. I guess I consider myself an artist, but at the same time, um, I always find it's dangerous because in the end I just want to communicate an idea, an emotion, a moment. I want to make the audience laugh. I want to make them scared, I want to do whatever. And, and again, I'll let the art, someone else decide whether it's art or not. And I kind of feel the same way about the figures and the collectibles. I think people that are the most frightened of that stuff, you want to sort of like, as opposed to running from it, you almost want to take control of it. So there's something about being able to have these things on the shelf that you have control over it, it's not taking over you. So that might be something to do with it, I'm not sure. There's so much put into it, it's difficult not to interpret it as art because there is so much detail and love put into this stuff. One of my favorite pieces is the, uh, the Legend Darkness premium format figure. I just loved that design from the beginning. I've always been a big Rob Bottin fan. I loved the stuff he did for the thing and I loved that image and the Tim Curry performance. I just never thought that there would be a collectible or anything like that would sort of represent that. You know, I'd always thought I'd have to refer to the DVD. But having that one on my shelf is really something special. To me, that's the best thing about these properties driven by imagination is that it begets more imagination. And unless it's inspiring someone else to, to pick up a pen, or, or I know a lot of folks in the sideshow community, it inspires them to pick up a paintbrush and make their own figures and create something for a property that means something to them, but maybe hasn't you know, 
it's not you know cost effective for Sideshow to do. They've created their own figures of it. I mean, I think that's what this stuff is all about. Like creativity should beget more creativity, and, and so it's really fun to be a part of that. <laughs>